Hello friends, whether it's uh, USMLE, whether it's PLAB or whether it is Indian entrance exams, we are moving slowly in the direction of CBME, competency based medical education and the objective questions which are case based MCQs or problem solving type MCQs. And therefore, we have started this series where every week we will discuss a case or MCQ based on that case and the physiology and pathophysiology behind the abnormalities found in that case. So this week uh, I had put up this MCQ on my social media platforms. Uh, it's related to the arrhythmias. A 30 year old male is admitted in CCU, coronary care unit. He recently suffered episodes of syncope, fainting attacks. Uh, his uh, investigations were carried out on his bundle electrogram, uh, it should have been on his, his bundle electrogram because his bundle electrogram HBE is the name of the investigation. So on his, his bundle electrogram, uh, well they have given PA interval that's okay because that's not really in on the HBE but anyways PA interval is 23 milliseconds, AH interval was 73 milliseconds and HV interval was also 73 milliseconds and of course also there was RS R dash pattern observed in the on the ECG particularly on the precordial leads. So which of the following is the most probable diagnosis? Is it Wenkebach's block? Is it RBBB right bundle branch block or is it uh, PSVT or uh, supraventricular tachycardia or it is uh, VPBs, ventricular premature beats or extrasystoles. Let's try to understand uh, the given data, how we can interpret this uh, given data and uh, try to figure out the answer and the discussion would mostly revolve around the his bundle electrogram. All right. First of all, we are looking at the conditions of heart block and when we say heart block, there would be a blockade of impulse transmission. Now look, there is AV node, bundle of his arises from the AV node and then its branches, the bundle branches the left branch and the right branch okay and the block when we say hard block it would mean block at the AV node or block in the bundle of his or the block in the bundle branches and therefore uh, a simple ECG a plain simple ECG may or may not be able to actually find out, figure out where exactly that is that block. Whether it is above the his bundle, that is in the AV node or whether it is below the his bundle, that is in the bundle branches. And if it is in the bundle branches, if it is in the left bundle branch, then we call it LBBB left bundle branch block. If it is in the right uh, bundle branch, we call it RBBB, right bundle branch block or it could be in the AV node uh, where we call it AV block or simply hard block. And therefore, to diagnose this, uh, the level of block or exact site of block, we have an investigation which is called as his bundle electrogram. In this investigation, I mean the name itself tells you what it is about, the HBE, it means electrical activity recorded from the perspective of his bundle, uh, which means you can advance a catheter with electrode at the tip and that electrode can be placed at the exposed part of the his bundle. And then one electrode in the right atrium, another electrode in the right ventricle. So that's the perspective of recording the electrical activity from the perspective of the his bundle. 
and that recording is called as HBE. There are two basic purposes to record his bundle electrogram. One, as I said, in the conditions of heart block, whether it is above the his bundle, bundle of his is being called his bundle. And above the his bundle means in the AV node or it is below the his bundle meaning in the bundle branches. That's one purpose or one thing that can be diagnosed with the his bundle electrogram. Second uh, reason why we uh, record the his bundle electrogram is differentiate between supraventricular tachycardia and ventricular tachycardia. See if there is a tachycardia and heart rate is well above 200, uh, we would like to know whether the focus which is generating this high pace of heart beating, whether the focus is above the ventricle. So, supraventricular tachycardia would mean the focus of impulse generation, focus of this high pacing of the heart is in the atria or whether it is in the ventricles where we would uh, call it ventricular tachycardias. Okay. Right. So, distinguish between these two also. Uh, I mean, we can diagnose or differentiate between these two tachycardias with the help of his bundle electrogram. All right, we'll see how we can diagnose all these things. Now, first of all, I told you the electrode placement and the perspective of the electrical potentials is uh, from the his bundle. His bundle is from where you are looking at the electrical potentials of the heart. Okay, that's uh, that's from uh, the perspective. Okay, and then impulse will come from the SA node that is from the atria, it will go through the AV node, it will enter the his bundle, then left branch, then left to right and then it will go to the apex and then Purkinje fibers uh, finally will deliver it into the ventricular muscle fibers. Okay. Let us look at the record that we obtain on his bundle electrogram. We get three waves on the his bundle electrogram, A wave, H wave and V wave. You can see that the V wave is a downward deflection. Let us also write here A, H and V. So, A wave represents atrial depolarization starting with the SA node. Okay. H wave represents his bundle depolarization means the depolarization has crossed the AV node and reached the his bundle. So, his bundle depolarization as H wave and V wave represents ventricular depolarization. Okay. So, from the his bundle through the bundle branches, finally the Purkinje fiber and ventricular muscle fiber. So, ventricular depolarization V wave. Uh, you have noted that the V wave is majorly a downward deflection because we have placed the electrodes on his bundle and in the right side of the heart, right atrium or right ventricle and the waves will be mostly going away towards the left side, you know, uh, normal QRS vector is leftward and downward uh, and therefore, V wave is a downward deflection. Anyways, that is not the point. The point is we can also simultaneously record the ECG and the ECG will be like this P wave, then QRS complex and T wave, right. So, uh, the QRS complex ventricular depolarization mostly upright uh, on the ECG in most of the leads, but in the his bundle electrogram same event is a downward deflection, okay. P wave. QRS complex and T wave and therefore, 
uh, we have that P A interval also shown, you know, uh, impulse starting from the S A node and reaching the atrial musculature, there is a certain amount of time interval from the S A node to right and left atrial muscle mass. That's the P A interval. Okay, let's see what these intervals are. P A interval, normal duration, 23 milliseconds. A H interval. Now look at this. A H interval means depolarization of the atria that is A and his bundle depolarization that is H. Okay. So impulse starting from the SA node or from the atria and reaching the his bundle means of course it has crossed the AV node. Uh, this is 55 to 130 milliseconds. And then HV interval 35 to 55 milliseconds. It will be easy to remember if you just remember 55. Okay, remember 55. And then AH interval is longer because there is AV node in, in between. So 55 to 130. And then HV interval, it has Purkinje system from his bundle to the ventricle. There is a Purkinje system, fast conduction, so 35 to 55, less than 55 it is. Remember 55 and one interval is more than 55, one interval is less than 55. Okay, can you remember like this? All right. Now, if the block is above the his bundle, block is above the his bundle, means where? Means in the AV node. Isn't it? Above the his bundle means AV node. In that case, the AH interval will prolong. Obviously, because of the block. And uh, 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 because you know the reason of AH interval is that it has to cross the AV node from atria to AV node and then his bundle. That's why. And if the HV interval is prolonged from his bundle to the ventricles, what is in between from the his bundle to the ventricle? What is there in between? Between these two, the bundle branches. So, if the HV interval is prolonged, then the block will be in the bundle branches. Yes. So, AH interval prolonged, the block will be in the AV node because from the atria to the his bundle, what situations, uh, what situates between the two is the AV node. If there is a block in the AV node, this interval will be prolonged. All right. And therefore, let's come to the data. The data given was uh, PA interval was 23 milliseconds. That's all right. AH interval 73 milliseconds. That's also all right. And HV interval is given as 73 milliseconds in the given MCQ, which is prolonged, which means now it should be clear that uh, the block is in the bundle branches. And there is only one option which is uh, which suits that uh, condition or criteria R, B, B, B. So therefore, this is a condition of right bundle branch block. Okay, based on your uh, his bundle electrogram findings, we can say this is a block in the uh, bundle branches, particularly in this option given is RBBB. So, that is the answer to the MCQ. Additionally, uh, you know, additional data can also be useful. I mean, you might have by hearted RSR dash pattern. So, uh, it is also called as M pattern because it will appear like an M. RSR dash pattern will appear like an M. R, S, R dash pattern and so M pattern. This is also classically seen uh, in uh, bundle branch block or right bundle branch block. Okay. And why is that? Why there is this double peak like an M? It is because uh, if one bundle branch is blocked, then impulse first travels to the other branch and then therefore it depolarizes that side first and late it comes to the side which has a block in that bundle branch and therefore you see such two peaks and therefore it has been called as RSR dash pattern. All right, 
so that's uh, that was an additional clue to the diagnosis rs r dash pattern obviously then it uh, it would have been straightforward right bundle branch block but this uh, mcq and this particular discussion was centered around his bundle electrogram and its application in the diagnosis just one last little point supraventricular versus ventricular tachycardia even they can be diagnosed here if there is a ventricular tachycardia if the focus is in the ventricle which is pacing the heart at higher heart rates then that a wave which is generated by depolarization of the atria that wouldn't be there because focus i mean there is no atrial excitation as such the focus of excitation is in the ventricles and it is causing tachycardia so whether you will see whether a wave is present or a wave is absent if it's present it would be a supraventricular tachycardia if it is not there it would be a ventricular tachycardia so that's how you can uh, differentiate between these two types of tachycardias also but for now what you what i want you to take is by heart these two intervals and how they help in your diagnosis